so here we are we're on board Ian set up a light because he's gonna um, try and take all this cable out we're gonna literally take every single thing that's electrical off this boat and start again from scratch most of these electrics are 20 years old the wiring looks a complete mess in our opinion so we're gonna just gut it I mean that's one of the beauties of having a 20 foot boat whereas if we'd have gutted the previous boats it would have been very difficult <laughs> this is only this size and I think we think we can see the logic of it that's what we're going to try and do anyway so as you see I've still got loads and loads of cleaning and yucky stuff but Ian's going to be drilling holes and making a mess himself anyway so until that's done it's not really worth doing the tidying up on my part so this is the state of the cockpit it comes out in the light and all these are going to come off be fitted with brand new ones might be a bit overkill for such a tiny little boat but we're hoping it all works Hello, it's January 2015 and um, Ian went to work yesterday and on his way home he brought me, for us, some lovely new equipment for our new boat um, and I'm going to unpack it now, it's very exciting, very expensive but uh, as some of my Facebook comments were, I didn't really want shoes and handbags, this is much more exciting. So show you guys okay the first one that we've got is the clipper range depth sounder um, which is going to be quite important because we're hoping to take this boat up all the little estuaries so even though we only draw two um, well 20 centimeters it's still going to be worth knowing what the actual depth is so this is what she looks like, woo, exciting. I think I'll shut that one later. Then we've got lots of little funny things like this. <laughs> and then this is our new aerial, which has got to go up the top of the mast. I'm most excited about actually my new chart plotter I always wanted one <laughs> I have seriously uh, this one it's a lovely garment can we get the cover off hmm, a bit difficult No. <laughs> I think we're nothing to pull against. Okay, well, there it is. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get the cover off at some point. Good job I'm not installing it. But that actually is my favourite one. Because so I'll be able to see where I'm going. Should be nice. And then we got the new wind system, which has also got to go to the top of the mast, but the mast is down in our garden at the moment, so it's nice and easy. And this is going to tell us the wind speed and the wind direction. There's all the wire that's got to go through the mast. Does this one come off? Yeah, that one comes off. So that's similar. I think this is what we had on muskrat, this range, actually. So we should know how to program them all, hopefully. So there you go. We've got to go on the boat now, in the rain. It's only about seven degrees, so it's not as freezing as it has been. And fit them all, obviously, in old scruffy clothes again. I think we spend our life in old scruffy clothes, actually. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll see you on the boat in a minute. 
We still had a little puddle of water here, we're, but we're both very confused. Where is this water coming from? And I can hear a drip. I think that's just because it's raining. <laughs> is it coming from the windows? They don't look like they're leaking because there's no watermarks and they feel dry it doesn't feel damp at all the ceiling I can't imagine it's coming from the coach roof at all because again that looks pretty good it's just one moulded piece but something's definitely from somewhere into this locker. <laughs> okay. <laughs>